Hi, welcome to knowinggod.net. I'm thrilled to introduce another great friend of Denise and I. Uh, her name is Cynthia Portero. Cynthia, it's great to have you today. See, we bring you these segments because people have stories and their stories are so powerful. And, and I know that you're watching today and I think you're gonna relate to what she's saying and it's gonna give you hope and courage because she is an amazing person. Cynthia, you went through something that probably is every parent's nightmare. And you know, sometimes I scratch my head and I pray for you and Denise does too, because we don't know how you've, you've made it and you've made it, not just made it through, but you, you keep shining and then you battle and then you shine. So tell them what happened and, and how, how have you handled this? Well, briefly, um, our son was murdered um, March 2011, and that was a whole devastating ordeal in yeah. itself. And then um, five months later, our 16-year-old daughter was killed on an ATV, and uh, devastating more than, than you can, I can even explain to anybody other than if you've lost a, a child or somebody tragically it, uh, it, your whole life is, is devoured. Right. It, it's devoured. And then uh, six months later, I was diagnosed with colon cancer and then went through chemo, surgery. I'm over, I've overcome that, I'm in recession. And then my husband got diagnosed with cancer. So sure. we're battling that. But um, there's hope. You're messing me up now. <laughs> How do you, I'm trying not to get emotional, but how do you, how have you managed? I mean, the loss of your son who you love, the loss of your daughter, we know they're both in heaven, but still, your cancer, which you are, it's in remission and we believe you've been healed, your husband's, how, what, what do you do to get up every day and just make it? Well, um, one word that I can just come to right now is trust. Hmm. I have to trust the reasons for my life if I'm gonna trust God. So every morning, I don't do it as much as I used to, right. but every morning just to get out of bed, I would just say, Lord, I'm just gonna trust you with today right. for the moment. And I had, a, I had a good relationship with the Lord before this all happened. And I truly believe that that has carried me through uh, the devastation times, the, the times I felt so emotionally devoured. And, in, and then I, I just ponder on the word saying, okay, we have hope in Christ differently from those who mm. don't have hope in Christ. Right. The Bible and First Thessalonians tell us not to worry about the ones that are asleep, yeah. that we, we have hope differently. So I've always bast in that, yeah. in the presence of God. And through that, the questions that you ask when things like this happen so tragically to our youth, because I'm not in this alone. Right. It happens every minute of the day we lose, somebody loses a child. Right. And somebody has cancer. And you ask those questions, why? And recently, after a couple of uh, actually sermons that you gave, I started to say, why not me? Right. Why not me? Instead of why me? Yeah. Because honestly, I mean, don't you, did you feel like the roof was caving in? Did you feel like, you know, you're a big target and someone's shooting at you? I mean, how? Actually, last Wednesday, I felt like when I woke up, somebody hit me over the yeah. head with a two by four. Right. Because last Tuesday was the anniversary of my daughter's death. Right. And it, um, I couldn't fathom how I was going to get through the day, so I didn't. I allowed myself some praise and worship right. time and just to be alone and to get through the day yeah. because this is something, and you know what I'm saying out there, this is something that you will never get over, right. but you will get through it. Yeah. But you cannot get through it without Christ in your life embedded in your heart, embedded right. in your spirit, embedded in your mind, embedded, embedded in the praise that you have to almost elope with him. Yeah. And that's the only way that I can truly say that I didn't fall into the drug right. 
part of it right. because I was offered many, sure. many prescription to, drugs. Yeah, to and numb your pain. And I was offered, somebody offered me prescription marijuana yeah. to get through the chemotherapy. So you know what, I can get through this with, with Christ. Wow. I can get through this with Christ. And one thing that I have also learned through this is when you spoke on the stages of grief, yeah. I really went into that. Yeah. I really delved into that. And I said, you know what, Lord, there are stages of grief, mm -hmm. but they come in waves. Yeah. They don't come at the same time. I'm pretty much, there's the shock, yeah. the anger, there's forgiveness mm -hmm. with the anger, yeah. there's mercy when you give the forgiveness for yourself because I have I have to forgive myself my myself and forgive my son's killer um, mm -hmm. daily it's a it's a battle it's a it's a war it's warfare yeah and I'm in warfare deeper than I've ever been mm -hmm. for the ministry that he's yeah. called to me now yeah. and so if we're to take and carry our cross then we have to carry it as he chooses fit for us to do Okay, gang, well, that, there's so much more that we can get into, and I, I'd wanna, I wanna have you sit with Cynthia for an hour or two and, and have her coach you, because as she's gone through it and is going through it, I, I shared something the other day on a Sunday that, that the Bible says that the Lord said to, to Samuel, how long do you intend to mourn for Saul? And when you think about that, it doesn't say that we're, we're not condemned for mourning, for grieving. No. We're not condemned for going through the process that Cynthia's going through right now. And God doesn't condemn you, but in that place, you can have an encounter. Like you said, I like, I like what you said, eloping with God. Now, if you blame him for all your, your, your tragedies, it's gonna be difficult to elope with someone you're mad at. But I just wanna encourage you today that, that, can we, do you have a website that we can send people to? You know what, I do, A Time to Heal. I'm doing a lot of writing on Good. healing. It's, it's on Facebook, it's A Time to Heal. And also through that ministry, I have, uh, been people just come out of the woodwork yeah. that want to be ministered to right. through Christ because you know like I like I said if you don't use your pain yeah. to help others mm -hmm. and you you just carry it yeah. you'll never get rid of it okay gang a time to heal on Facebook Cynthia you're the bomb and listen you guys um, I, if I can, if I can ask, have you connect with this amazing lady? Um, I know she's going to encourage you, and I know her story's encouraging you. Uh, we love you guys. We know some of you have had horrible losses too, and, and we know that Christ can meet you in that loss. And he's, you know, you don't move on from a loss like that. You move forward. Like you said, you'll never get over it, and you don't want to get over it. Uh, but you do want to move forward with that. The whole history and the love and the, that uh, the, the person deep in your heart. The peace yeah. of God yeah. that transforms us. Yeah. As in Colossians. Right. When he said, let the peace of God rule yeah. in your heart. Yeah. There you go. We love you guys. We'll see you next time at knowinggod.net.